you can be confident your students' learning is on track and check their progress with course ebooks and online practice with the Gradebook on Oxford English Hub. When your students have started completing and submitting activities, you can see their scores in the class gradebook in the progress area of Oxford English Hub. Remember, you need to have assigned the course material to students first, and they need to have an active license for it, which you have either assigned to them or they have redeemed themselves in the form of an access code. The gradebook includes the progress data for both the course online practice and the student ebooks in one place. Teachers can see the gradebooks for their own classes, and organisation administrators can see the gradebooks for all the classes in the organisation. Sign in to Oxford English Hub using your Oxford ID username and password. Then select the class you want to see the gradebook for in your My Classes area. You will be taken to the progress areas for the class and once you have assigned course material to the class, it will be displayed here and show an overview of the average score and average number of completed activities. Select either one of the course ebooks or online practice to see the gradebook for each of them in more detail. You'll see a list of the total course scores for the students in the class and the total scores for each unit, as well as how much of the course and unit they have completed. Use the grey arrow buttons on the right and left of the screen to scroll through and see all of the units of the course. You can click on the arrow icons next to the Student, Date, Completed and Score headings towards the top of each column in the gradebook to sort the student data in alphabetical order or from highest to lowest or vice versa. You can quickly see if students are tracking above or below the class average depending on where the class average row is then positioned in the list of students. You can choose to view the scores as fractions or percentages by clicking the Show Figures As toggle button, or by different attempts by selecting either the first attempt, latest, best or average attempt from the drop-down menu on the right. You can also view the scores out of all the activities or out of just the activities that have been completed by clicking on the Show Scores Out Of toggle button. And you can filter by score to highlight those below a certain percentage. Just select the Highlight by Score button so it turns green. Then click on the slider on the right and move it to the percentage below which you want the scores to be highlighted. The scores for these students will then be highlighted in blue. As well as being able to see the scores for each unit, you can view the scores for each section within the unit and for each activity. And you can also see a student's answer to an individual ebook or online practice activity. Click on the unit name to see the scores of each section within the unit and how much of the unit has been completed. Then click on the section name to see the scores for the activities within it and the number of attempts students have made at answering each one. Once an activity has been completed by a student, you will see a blue arrow next to the activity score. You can click on this blue arrow to open the activity and see the student's first or latest attempt at answering it. You will need to select either the first attempt or latest attempt from the drop-down menu if you haven't already. You can look at individual students' scores in more detail by clicking on their name in the list in the class gradebook and then expanding the units and sections using the blue down arrows on the right. Click on the blue arrow under View on the right of an activity to see either their first or latest answer to it. Click on the Close button to return to the class view of the gradebook. Some of your students' online practice speaking and writing activities need to be manually marked by you, so the score for them is visible in the gradebooks. 
These activities have a grey coloured pencil symbol next to them. You need to go into the individual student's gradebook and you also need to be in the best attempt view to open these activities and mark them. From the class view of the gradebook, select best attempt from the drop down menu. Then click on the student who has a pencil symbol in the unit score column to open their individual gradebook. Click on the down arrow to the right of the unit that has the pencil symbol next to it to expand it. Then click on the down arrow to the right of the section that has the pencil next to it to show the individual activities. You can see a blue pencil next to the activity you need to mark. Click on it and the activity will open in a new tab where you can read or listen to the student's answer and enter a score for it. Enter your score in the white score box and select the send button and it will then be visible in the gradebook. You can export the score data for the whole class by unit, section or activity and save it offline if you want to. Before exporting it, you will need to select which attempt you want to download the scores for from the drop-down menu on the right of the screen – latest, first, best or average attempt. You will also need to choose if you want to view the scores out of all activities or only those completed, or as fractions or percentages. To export the unit scores, just select the Export button when you're in the unit view of the class gradebook. A CSV tab will appear on your screen. Click on it to open it. To export the scores for the section within each unit, select the Export button when you're in the section view. And to export the activity score for the class, click on the Export button when you're in the activity view for the class. To export all the scores for an individual student, select the student from the class gradebook list, followed by the Export button. If you have any questions and need more help, just go to the help and support for teachers. If you can't find the answer you need, you can contact us directly by going to the Contact Us section of Help and Support. You can either send us an email using the online form, phone us or use the live chat feature.